everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and today we're going to be looking at the Alien Whoop Zero. As always, look in your upper right hand corner for the latest giveaways or any important channel information going on and look below for any of the parts that I've been using and there will be links there for those. So today we're going to build out our Alien Whoop Zero and I'm going to go through the parts list you're going to need in order to do this. Uh, information about building one of these which is a little bit different than some of your other ones and then down there at the end we're going to take a look at the differences in my thoughts on this. Now our parts list is going to consist of the Alien Whoop Zero Flight Controller ESE combo. That's going to cost you about $35. A Cockro Train which is about $4 or $6 if you want it in a color. I'm using Newbie Drone Gold Motors, but motors are going to run you somewhere from $13 to $20, $23 technically. Uh, the Caddx Firefly is what I'm using. That's a 1200 TVL camera uh, VTX combo with 25 milliwatt, and that's $25. I'm using the XM Mini for $14. You're going to need a battery, average five bucks. You're going to need a canopy if you want one, averaging about five bucks. And I'm using 31 millimeter props, which most of us already have laying around, but they're about $3. And you're going to need a printed mount for your camera. And all this is going to run us around $105. So let's see if we can put this together and not break it. <coughs> so before we get soldering this guy up, I'll give you a little run through here of what kind of soldering work you're looking at. Because you are looking at it. Um, unlike some of the other ones that are already put together like the Acro B, you're going to have a little work here. So call it an intermediate build if you want. But here in the back, that's where your flight controller is going to go and that's where all the pins are. I'm using an XM Mini, uh, which seems to fit best in it for me if you're using FR Sky. There is a clear manual on what these pins are and where you need to solder to and I will have a link to that below so you can see it. Uh, we're also going to have to solder on our um, camera power and negative lead and that's going to go here on the back side or technically this is the top side um, and that's these two little pads right here that are next to the power which has already been soldered on for you so you don't have to worry about it so again we're looking at the bottom here and that right there is going to be how they program it so you don't need to touch those so yep at the bottom is our controller and and then on the other side is our other two welds which are just going to be for our camera power so other than that, that's that's the hard part. Then you're just going to slip it on. You, again, you're going to have to have a printed TPU mount for your camera because it doesn't come with anything like that or the camera I bought didn't come with that, which is another thing we're looking at in this review, which is that Caddx Firefly, which I mentioned is a 1200 TVL 25 milliwatt switcher. Or not switcher, sorry, it's just 25 milliwatt. So here's the project all done. Um, didn't get into the you know soldering part. There's nothing to see there. There's very small pads. So have a small tip and hopefully be able to solder smaller things. So not too bad of a project to put together. Uh, the harder part is getting your transmitter all set up because that is going to take uh, some time. It's not as hard as, as people make it out to be. There's a great video on how to do it. I did it in five minutes. So uh, I'll have that link below as well. Okay guys, so coming into the flight footage, we're going to be talking about a couple things here. We're going to be talking about performance and we're going to be talking about this camera, which was again the Caddx Firefly and it is a 1200 TVL 25 milliwatt VTX combo. So the camera itself I think is pretty nice. Uh, it's a little saturated to me and a little, a little blown out contrast wise. I'm going to try to see if there's any adjustments we can make to that. But, but it's pretty nice and goggle wise it's beautiful to fly through. This DVR recording isn't really a representation of what you're seeing through the camera. But it is, it is a nice camera and for the price I think it was pretty good. I'm going to, I'm going to see what we can do with that. But I'm going to try another camera, this Wolf Whoop camera that's supposed to be pretty nice too pretty soon. So overall on this camera, definitely worth checking out. So let's talk now more about the Alien Whoop Zero Flight Controller ESC combo. So I'm in level mode and, you know, angle, stab, whichever way you want to do it. Um, and I, I, I changed the way I was going to show you these flight footages from, from acro first to angle first. And I'm showing you angle first because I'm not sure. And look at the wind I was dealing with. I'm not sure, but 
it, it, this may have been where they were going with this. Um, definitely check out more videos than mine about this project. I do not know everything. I never meant to. This is me getting the parts, doing a build, taking it out and showing you and giving you my first impressions without you know, going crazy on knowing everything everybody else has said about this project. So I feel like the, the stab mode was, was what this is all about. And it is very, very nice. It's pretty smooth. Um, it's fast, that's for sure, um, with these gold motors. But, you know, it didn't change my world. It didn't, it didn't rock me. You know, I'm not going to be like Ladrib and say the whole world's changed here as far as whooping goes because I do have other boards that, that can do this as well. So, it, but it is equally as good and definitely a different way of approaching things. Uh, with silverware, you it's not like a beta flight. You don't have an interface. You can't make changes. It comes in as it is. You set up on your controller a couple switches for the two different modes they offer. They actually offer several different things. It just depends on what you want to add. But there's a mode, juicy mode, and another mode that I believe is called... Uh, animal or maniac or something it's obviously it's it's a smooth and steady mode versus a quick and and nimble mode for like racing and uh i preferred the juicy mode um just more of a, an acro style mode and it is locked you know in out of the box it's not real real bad um so that's kind of a disadvantage to me right now but i don't know where they're going as far as you know making an interface or anything like that uh project has been around a little while but i wouldn't say it's forever like some of the other things so that's something to keep in mind um but like i said it is a good board it's a comparable board now we're switching over to acro mode um it is good in acro um i want to remind you you know and this is me coming out of doing a lot of 2s 1s brushless whoops lately so it's not a fair comparison and having come out of there i might be slanted um because a brushed whoop is not going to be a brushless whoop it's just not going to be guys it's just not so remember that keeping that in mind of what your style is if you love a brushed uh, micro this is a great option it's a fun build it's uh, a different build it's gonna help you learn more things about the hobby and it's definitely worth $105 to do. But as far as if, you know, you think you're going to build it and you're going to come out here and Ladrib out in your yard, it's just not going to happen. I mean, we do some fun stuff coming up here that, you know, I do with other whoops. And the results are the same, you know, uh, by the time you do it, it can't get itself out of it completely. And, you know, it gets close to the ground. I'm sure if I was, you know, if we're up way like that, works fine no chatter everything works great easy flip so definitely can handle those kinds of things but once again keep in mind it is a brushed and it's going to in the end act like a really really good brushed so once again i'm trying to be very say like that i mean it, it worked but it hit the ground it's gonna work here and it's gonna hit the ground it's a brushed so um you can't do things like that from eight feet like I can with a with a brushless. So just keep that in mind. I want to be fair to that. I want to tell you it's going to change your world when it won't completely change your world. But like I said, as far as brush goes, it's fun. It's very stable. Um, you know, it does compare to an Acro B. It does compare to me, the Beta FPV 65S, both of those other quads, the, the Tiny Whoop. Um, they are all comparative to me and this is another option you know and it's definitely worth checking out and and building if you want to learn some more things about the hobby and have a good time but like here for example just a yaw spin flutter ground so still brushed but like i said i'm trying i'm trying i know this sounds stupid i'm trying not to dog it because it's nothing to dog here it's a great product it was a fun build i enjoyed it it flies good it's just not suddenly gonna be my mobula of my mobula 7 of the brushed world it's you know it's another good quad so i'm gonna spend more time with it i definitely will come back um if I get deeper into the project and find these remarkable things and I will come back and I'll tell you guys I was wrong. This is da 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 da. So 
count on that if I see anything differently. Otherwise, all I can say is it's definitely worth getting, definitely worth building, definitely a good time, uh, not a piece of junk in any way, and certainly worth $105 worth of build. So, as always, guys, look for the links below if you're interested in the project. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, get into the giveaway. Happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.